Hey, that took forever. I think I just need some lotion. Hello, hello. Gonna wait for a couple people to join. This is a live stream. So I'm just waiting for a couple people to pop in. Um, yes. Hello, hello. I still have to use a heating pad. Oh, look, that's my banana. Not even done with it. Just gonna wait a couple minutes for some people to pop in, getting my stuff organized. Totally, I had a bottle of water and I was like, oh, look, my green room cup. I forget to use it. So, big shout out to the green room, break and profit, and bona fide hustler. Um, what is it? College picker. Those are the three I can think of. So yeah. All right. We have a jewelry bag and no, I don't want to show my face. Like you should see my house. It's a mess right now. Um, this bag is actually overwhelming to me, but it's also fun and I love jewelry and I love selling stuff. I'm going to show you quickly two things that I shipped today that was jewelry and it came from the jewelry bags. So here's our bag. There was only one today, but luckily the lady that's usually in my competition, she didn't even show up. So, um, she, yeah. So since there's only one bag and there was only one other lady, for the jewelry, I did go to the jewelry counter that I showed you all in my morning video, and I picked up these pieces. I don't even know what I paid for them. I have the chat open, but it's hiding, so let me see if I can get it pulled up. Oh, there's my bestie, uniquely me, but you guys are all my besties, so I love you all. I honestly never felt like I would tell YouTube that I love them, but I do. Oh, <laughs> I love you guys. Y'all are awesome. You make me happy. I enjoy YouTube a lot. So let's move along. Um, yeah, Goodwill number seven. I spent $32. I put this top on just for you guys. You don't get to see my face, but you get to see this cute anthropology Diletta top. Um, that I got at the pound store more than likely. So <clears throat> thank you. Yeah, I had a wonderful turkey day. The best part about turkey day was the family. I tell you that. Um, so yeah, goodwill. So the bag is $25. Uh, they marked it right. Didn't mean to flip you off. 25. Whew, my muscles and my arms are still really sore, you guys. I dread mopping the house this coming week when the kids go back to school. I'm going to turn up the jams, and I am going to clean my floors. Woo, they're a mess. Okay, so again, jewelry bag, 25 And then it looks like she charged me a dollar each for these, but I think some of these were bracelets, and she charged me a dollar. I wonder if bracelets are cheaper than necklaces, but we'll look. I don't know. It's okay. I love the lady who rang me up, so I'm not going to complain one bit. There's Dawn. Hello. Um, yeah. So, and I did round up my total. It was $29.61. You can round up your total for the Goodwill training program. I don't complain. I know a lot of people complain about you, uh, Goodwill and how they have all this stuff but you know what if there's a training program i'm all about it just pray for the best right um so i got this brighton necklace for a dollar is that what it shows yeah a dollar each for these um it's a really nice one sometimes i have really good luck selling brighton necklaces but then i have some that are just sitting for 15 dollars um, I want to show you real quick two pieces that I sold, and one is on Poshmark. <clears throat> I'm going to show you three pieces. This is a sterling silver Navajo Mexico stamped um, heart pendant. I have it on eBay. 
um, I should go delete it because now I'll get somebody go bid on it, right? Just because I'm live. One second. That's the only piece I think I need to uh, delete. So go to active heart. Thankfully, uh, eBay has that. Okay, so I had it on eBay for $19.95 plus $5 shipping. And nobody... eBay is the silliest thing ever. So if you are on your cell phone, you cannot end an auction. But if I pull up my silly laptop here on a PC, I have to go there and delete the silly listing. So it was cross-posted. Apologies. This video is, of course, going to be an hour long. So grab your water or your coffee and tea. Um, so... Oh, eBay selling, and now I can't even search the heart. It would be quicker right now for me to actually just Google search the heart listing instead of going to my actives because there's no search bar. Let me see here. I could have just went to auctions. I'm so sorry, but I luckily I only have like Less than 100 listings, so here it is. Let's go end the item. <clears throat> um, five more seconds, guys. Hold on. Okay, so this item is no longer available, and yes, done. Okay. I blame it on eBay, right? Um, okay, so on Poshmark, it sold cross-posted for $22. So my profit was 17, oh, let me not show username. It was $17.60. So I believe I did get it. I did a YouTube video on doing bags and I'm pretty sure this heart pendant was in there. So I sold that. Hair, get off of me. One other piece that I sold, but I did not get it in a jewelry bag. I will mention that I've had this lowered all the way down to like $10. It's a Vera Wang chunky piece that I got from a Craigslist lady. Um, it took forever to sell it. Um, and I raised the price up to $25. Sucker sat for about a year almost. Hello, Casey. T says hi. Hello. Um, and so I raised it up to 25, got an offer of 23. You know, I was jumping for joy when she offered me 23 outs. I, I was like, yay! So that's shipped in my freebie influencer box that I just did an unhaul for y'all recently. Um, and then the last piece I'll show you now that maybe everyone's got notified that we're live. I did ship it today. And I'm going to tell you right now that I thought about not relisting this piece because it was so dainty and just uh, a very unique piece. It was almost handmade, maybe. It's also Navajo. It's just a nickel with the charms and the feather. It's so adorable. So um, I had it listed high. It never sold. And then I put it on an auction. And lo and behold, it doesn't say the bitter. But lo and behold, it just sold. I just shipped it today for $7 with $3 shipping. So basically, they paid for the entire shipping. And then there's some chunk change. It only costs $2.77 to ship that item in a bubble envelope. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the uh, haul. And I'll continue showing these little pieces that I bought for a dollar. And then we'll unbag this. There was a lot of nice pieces, and there was a couple of these um, jewelry bracelets that I kind of wear, Chan Lu, or knock them all, but these, I don't know, they don't have a brand. They're really nice. I assume these are bracelets. Could be. Maybe they're um, necklaces. Maybe both. They're the colors faded off, so they're clearly a glass stone. I didn't realize that they were that faded. You can see here. 
Uniquely Me says, I shipped a nine pound package on Poshmark today. I have never upgraded Uniquely Me. Uh, you, the upgraded shipping cost me $20. Wow! I did work it into my counter offer, but geez. Oh, wow. I've been on there for years and I've never had to do that. What did you ship? Tell us. Oh, she says, I miss you, Dawn. Oh, okay. So there's one. Uh, it has a shell. What is that? Is that abalone shell? I don't know. It could just be a regular shell. Kind of looks like abalone. Not quite sure. Um, there's a berry slit or a necklace. I'll check them out later. And here's a nice pretty blue one. I paid a dollar for it only because they're, they seem like they're really good made, quality made. So, and they're not plastic, they're glass and stuff. But these um, charms are definitely not sterling silver. A rolling briefcase. Hmm. So tell me, I mean, I'm pretty sure that this is a bracelet and I got charged for a necklace, but then again, it could be a choker. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that bracelets and necklaces are different prices, but then again, I can't remember. I honestly didn't even look at the sign. The prices are so cheap and excellent. Like, this is a good buy for a dollar. These are also really nice glass beads. What was the brand? Or you don't have to share though if you don't want to. Uh, the brand of the briefcase. Yeah, I got nail polish. I need to get off. This is actually a nicer charm here. This one has a rose. So let's see. Yeah, I couldn't do it on here, but I with my tiny wrist, I would think that I could double strand this, but I don't know. They seem a little too chunky for me. I like soft stuff that's small, tiny stuff. So yeah, that necklace was a score there. All right. So are you ready for the jewelry bag? Oh, this heating pad feels so good. My hubby, um, he has really bad hips, like they hurt, and he's a very hard worker. Um, and so when he gets home, he usually was putting ice on his hips, and he recent, oh, this needle is stabbing me. It is sticking out. We need to get that immediately. Um, he was putting ice packs like all the time for months. And the doctor was like, you are not supposed to put ice on a pain that is long term. You're supposed to use heat. I was like, yeah, I know what he's talking about because I sure am addicted. Watch out for the knife feather. Um, I am addicted to this heating pad. I can't get enough of it. I've had two children, two epidurals. Um, I don't know. I had a small little back accident as a child. No surgeries or nothing, but I hurt my back with a friend being crazy teenagers. No story on that today. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then, you know, my augmentation. So um, my back's been really hurting. So yeah, I don't even know why I'm talking about that. <clears throat> Got off topic. Here we go. We're into our bag. Some of you newbies may ask why it took me forever to open that bag. It's because I love to save these bags. Here's an old one. We're going to put our junk jewelry in one of these that I do not want to keep. Now you're really going to think I'm crazy because I brought this peppermint over here and I'm going to inhale this to get a little bit of energy and invigoration to just, you know... It's really supposed to give you energy, I think. That's amazing. <clears throat> I'm totally overwhelmed and stressed right now with, first off, opening this bag. It's a lot to uh, put up after you guys are done with my video. And uh, I got a lot of housework to do. It's never freaking ending. You should see the laundry. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, can I zip it? Let's see. 
Your heating pad is your best friend. Yeah, well, I went and got an extra long one. It was only ten more dollars at Wally World um, than the smaller one. And oh my gosh, the longer, the extra large heating pad, it is worth it. I'm going to minimize this little chat because I can't see the screen. Okay. Make the screen bigger. I'm going to try to go really fast through this jewelry bag, you guys. Um, if you're not familiar with my bags, I'm really only looking for real gold, real silver, or amazing, beautiful uh, name brand pieces like this Chon Lu. I never knew about it till these bags and I searched the solds on um, Poshmark. They retail even used for 75 to a hundred dollars. So junk pieces, I'm going to resell. So don't hate on me because I'm like, yeah, this is junk. This is junk. I really just mean like I, it's not for me. It's going to be for somebody else. So no offense. Okay. Um, and if you need to purchase anything, my PayPal link is located in this video. Just click the drop down menu. Um, I have sold a couple pieces on YouTube, but I also do eBay and Poshmark. So let me know. Holla at you, girl. Okay. <clears throat> I have a diamond tester. I have a magnet. Well, here, this magnet. I need like a professional jewelry magnet, don't I? And I have my loop, which is my magnetic magnifier. I had ordered two more on eBay, but the seller never shipped it. So those were a fail. Okay. <clears throat> First off, this cute little bell earring is so chipped. It's not something that I need. However, it's really vintagey and I believe real glass. If I find the other one, I might dig it out and research it, but I think these are just some inexpensive little Christmas earrings. Shoot, you gotta leave to work. Oh yeah, you told me you did. Thanks for stopping by, Chica. Wow. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, Dawn. Um, this is a Geneva watch and I have a big bag that I keep telling you guys I'm going to list on for sale and I will soon, very soon <clears throat> when they stop selling jewelry bags, right? I have a big bag of pins, brooches for sale, but they are still not listed, but I do plan on doing it soon. So I do save these and I will lock them up. Um, I have a million and one angel pins. Like a million and one. So here's a cute little girl, I don't know, bracelet, junk jewelry. <clears throat> so brass and what's the other word? I always forget. I got aluminum, not tin. Brass. There's another word I'm trying to think of what this is. What's it called? Don't really need this. The other piece might be in here, but I'm going to repeat. I have a million and one earrings. I'm just going to pass this one along. <clears throat> this is cute. Possible real sterling silver. It's a leather bracelet. Um, is it missing a diamond? It is missing a diamond. But I like the leather bracelet, so we'll put this aside. <coughs> Goodness. Serva Servabo Vi Fidem. Yeah, whatever that is. Made in the USA. Here's a vintage pin. Enamel. Oh, is that a lion? Yeah, baby. Love me some lions. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a sterling earring that just threw at me. So immediately this popped out at me and the color, immediately I can tell that it looks like it's sterling silver. So let's see if it has some engravings. 
Luckily, the authentic back looks like it matches. Well, I mean, it looks sterling. I do have acid testers so I can test it, but I'm almost quite certain it is. But there's no engravings. But that doesn't mean anything. So we will start a section over here to the right where I will put the more expensive pieces that I don't want to lose and then the stuff I'm going to list on eBay and Poshmark maybe and that I need to lot up or over there and then junk jewelry bag here. So there's that. So we'll start this pile right there. <clears throat> I'm not sure about shell beads. Shell beads. Is that what these are? <laughs> shell beads. <clears throat> Um, okay, we're going to move this along. I'm going to have to research this. I haven't... Sorry, my dog. The neighbor, neighbor's doing yard work. And they're barking at him, so I have one of them in here to leave the neighbor alone. Because my dogs are crazy. These are cool bracelets. I actually have a bunch of these. Ouch. So I'm going to put this over here so I can see the bag. All right. Here's a cute pink rhinestone earring. Doesn't look sterling silver, but I will put it aside in case I can find the match because it's kind of pretty. <clears throat> uh, here's a Geneva Platinum. It's kind of dirty, but the parts are still in it. And I think Steam, I learned on YouTube that Steampunk people use the parts so I'll lock that up it's kind of dirty should I let him out bud come here come here come sit by mama Siéntate. come here sit please you're driving me crazy and people on YouTube land right he's a good boy so here's some turquoise beads I have a bunch of these so I need to lock those up Okay, so right away I see something really pretty. It's stamped 925. Um, and it has the name Seta or Seta, S E T A, but the stone's missing. But that might be okay. I don't know. I'll research it after the video. Seta and then stamped 925. So it's like a sterling silver. That's two little pieces. This looks like it's just a plastic bangle, white. Doesn't look like it's, um, what do you call it? Bone or the, I can't remember that silly word. Here's that sterling silver looking like earring. We'll test it later. Those are cute. <clears throat> are you a good boy, bud? You gonna sit down? Stay right there for me, okay? Good boy, he just laid down. So I learned becoming, as the years go by, becoming a reseller, you learn all the details. So this is called Hammered. So do put that in your listing. Some people do buy this style, and I have sold it. So there's that. I think that's an earring. We'll put it aside. Hold on. My boys are they're already messing with each other. Okay. All right. So, oh, look, we have some more of these from our last YouTube videos. So I will add this to those. I love it when I find pieces that I didn't list that go together from the other new bags to match them. Awesome. This is a like a gemstone rock here. I don't know what it's called. I would have to research it but it's on one of those vintage bracelets that I'm always telling you guys I love these little tiny cheap bracelets because it's weird. They're so vintage and old and none of the diamonds are missing. So yeah, I could, but no sir. I'm like, no sir, don't go, don't bark. They love to bark at the neighbor mowing his yard and stuff. So it almost looks sterling silver, but I don't know. It's a little deceiving. 
I love this little piece. It totally doesn't go with this. Um, like it's a cold rock. We're going to put that over there just because I love the cross, the gemstone cross. Hey, I had some of these last time we did a video. Oh, look, there's that earring. I have this earring. It's so funny because it's a plastic hook. Weird. Um, let's see here. Let's get this out of the way. I feel like I just forgot what I was talking about. So many local bases. Okay, so here's a probably a dyed turquoise pink, kind of neon. Thanks, Tracy. You to bomb.com. I'm so happy to have met you in person, too. It's so nice when you can put a face to a name, right? So if you haven't already, Definitely check into reseller meetups in your town or close to your state or whichever. Um, this is just a, like, it's probably stainless steel. It's kind of cool. It's like a bendy bracelet. I can't think of the other words for it, but it's a bummer. Like, you don't know who the maker is of these pieces. It's kind of nice. We'll put it aside. You never know. You can auction it off. Auction it off. Hmm, so I actually use these for uh, real estate keys. I'm licensed in Texas, so I will keep that. Junk jewelry. Um, ribbon necklace. Junk jewelry, I don't need that. Here's a broken little girl's sea bead. Adorable neon uh, floral beaded. I guess it would have been a necklace or a bracelet, but it's broke. Also junk jewelry. Look, we got another bottle cap and I have a couple of these. These are cute. It's two pigs kissing for the farm girl in you. I love the farm. Or I just love animals, like anything to do with animals. I love it. So this piece is really cute even though it's kind of a cheaper uh, chains here, connectors, this little pendant is adorable. It's got like an enamel glitter filled back or something, or some kind of fill. fill. It's nice and glossy. So with the gemstone, so cute. So we got an, like an acrylic. Is that no stones missing, so I'll set it aside. It's kind of cute. Bud, come here. Come back to mama. I've had these before. They're just little girls' zipper bracelet. Just junk jewelry. Let's see. Let me point y'all down a little further. Here's a copper earring. No engraving, so it is junk jewelry. Um, I have 2020 vision, so you can see pretty good. This is just a um, gold toned little girl's earring craft lot. Another gold toned little girl's earring, probably, possibly. Um, this is a ring, and all the stones are not missing they're all there but it's really faded and um i wonder if it's vintage i don't know i just don't feel like this is a piece that i need i will be passing this one along to a junk jewelry bag here's a gold tone earring match pass that along let's see here's a silver tone earring i don't need that come here bud come here there's a little uh, pearl earring. It is clearly plastic. Oh no, I might set that aside in case we find the match. So immediately we're gonna get rid of these. I don't need any of these. Hold on you guys, I gotta close my back door because the dog wants to go out in the backyard. Come here bud. Oh. You 
Where's that bone? Huh? Where's that bone? Where is your bone? Chip. Have you sold any junk jewelry bags yet? Heck no, because I haven't. I listed one on Poshmark um, for like a couple, like one or two months. And no, I didn't get any offers or anything. I never put it on eBay yet, um, but I plan to. So I'm behind. I know. I got like, what do you call it? Death piles of jewelry. <laughs> so this is an adorable vintage earring. It's a cheap dainty little thing but it's still super cute i'm gonna put it aside in case i can find the match because i do think it's vintage so these oh look i can see the stampings these are like uh probably a sterling silver they're kind of dirty probably overlay because they feel like they're plastic but i can see that there's some kind of little 925 engraving it's going to be like a <coughs> really cheaper and expensive sterling silver but i will put this aside with the sterling silver so i always do this one also on the earring back is stamped 925 it's really tarnished and covering it up but I can see it right away and then possibly I don't know this piece down here doesn't look it but it might be and then I can see it's missing a little charm or dangle piece there so it's sterling so we'll set it aside okay um, really damaged heart, no rhinestones missing, super cute, junk jewelry, um, a little bead kind of faded, junk jewelry, here's a nice bigger seed bead bracelet, I'll put that aside, now what in the world is this, it seems awfully cheap, and it's plasticky, so I'm going to pass it along. I'll take the risk. You can't have it all. Oh, what is this? I have no clue what this is. Tuck, you're going to leave that outside. Please don't take that neck rest in the backyard. Your neck doesn't hurt, and I don't want you to leave it out in the backyard in case somebody else needs to use that. Will you please take it off? Some kind of red drop. But I think it possibly might be um, sterling or just stainless steel. This is an interesting piece. <laughs> what is that? Um, okay. I think I have some of these, so I'm going to set this aside. Oops, sorry. Um, to lot it up in the last jewelry bag I had. We had a bunch of beads. I think that goes with it. Looks like there's another one of these broken turquoise necklaces. That's a bummer. I wonder how these all broke, because in the last jewelry bag I had, I had three of these that were broke as well. So either somebody ripped them apart and broke them all or something of that nature. I don't know. Um, but these are really good quality beads. Some more. This looks like a copper funky. I have no idea what this says. It looks like either an Asian person or an Indian. It is a copper head. It's a copper pendant with some kind of man's head in the middle. Almost looks like Medusa. But uh, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> it's kind of weird. No offense. I hope it's not a religion thing. Looks like a man or is yeah. It has writing around it, but I can't read it. It's like it's in another language. Very interesting. I'll set that aside. Got some trash. Okay, got a silver tone earring. 
another silver tone earring. It's kind of really inexpensive. I'm gonna pass this along. Now, what is this? It's like a glass chip. I have no idea what this is. I'm just gonna pass it along, even though it might be a gemstone. I have no clue. So this GS Petit, I have no idea what this button is, but I have a couple of these. I think they're interchangeable buttons for a bracelet. So I guess I'm gonna keep that aside and try to find the rest of them. <laughs> Two beads. A wooden bracelet that is uh, very inexpensive. I'm gonna pass it along. Uh, copper toned or it's, there, what's the other word for this? Can't think of it, but you'll be okay. Chloe's barking, but you cannot join her. Um, so passing that along. So this is a bamboo necklace, I believe. Yes, with wood maybe, made out of fishing wire. I may have one or two other bamboo pieces. I'm gonna have to do some more research on this, so we'll set it aside. Um, this is clearly, so this chain almost looks like it's real gold, but the connectors are missing, so there's no engravings. I guess you could test it. To me, I feel like I see tarnishing on it, maybe copper, possibly. So I'm going to oh, yes. pass it along. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. He's looking for the elf on the shelf. So I'm going to pass this along because I think it is tarnished. Oh, look, there's our enamel cute little earring here. I really like it because it's clear and it's like acrylic. So we have two of those. Ooh. Now, I don't know the word for it, but this is crossing. I'm all, I don't know if my words are even right. We did a lot of jewelry videos together in the mornings a couple of months ago. And I still am not remembering the words correctly, but correct me if I'm wrong. This is that type of millifori. Um, what other words did we research? Venetian, maybe? So those are the words I'm gonna research when I list this. This piece is so amazing because I love all the little tiny charm uh, like seed beads. So cute. It's kind of old and it's a little stretched out, but it's a cute piece. Some more of that turquoise. Oh, that's a tiger's eye bead. I don't use these or collect these, but I don't I don't have a lot of these, so I'm gonna just pass that one along. Um, so here's these turquoise. Goes right there. See some hair, gross. So this looks like a sterling silver earring, but I'm not seeing engravings and this one's just silver tone. I'm just gonna chunk both of these. Now we have a, what is it? It's a, I'm all Avengers. No, it's a, um, anchor pin it has a writing back here it's so tiny it's almost like it's german yeah it's um some kind of like i don't know foreign language right on the elf on the shelf doesn't go in mommy's room he would be in the living room or in you oh what you looking for oh you're playing a game okay Silver tone earring. Yeah. Some beads. Some 
plasticky silver beads. This earring is so adorable. I hope we find the match. It's just this tiny little multicolored earring. I know some of you might be like, yes, baby. Okay, I'll get it in a minute. Oh They're everywhere. Oh no. I'll help you in just a minute. This says 925 on both the earring back and the earring. Um, so what was I going to say? I already lost my train of thought. Some of you might be like, oh, it's weird. I would say this and not the other pieces. It's just sometimes if the pieces are boring to you, they'll sit on your um, table like these silly necklaces. I I think I, I don't know even know if I took all the pictures of them. They have been sitting here for like a month unlisted. They're just not pieces that I feel are going to bring in a lot of money, but they're adorable wooden holiday pieces. I clearly missed Thanksgiving. I had all the time in the world to list these, but they're just not something like I'm excited about. <laughs> I said, I got to go back in my phone and look through a thousand pictures of listings because if they save in my phone, I delete them later um, and see if I even took pictures of all those. I listed one out of the four holiday necklaces and the one that I did list is still sitting there unsold. So I'm glad I didn't waste my time on those, I guess. I don't know. No clue. So we have a baby toy in here. <laughs> We have some more pink dyed turquoise beads. We have a swap quartz. This is like plastic silver tone um, watch, but I have a bunch of watches I'm gonna lot up. Plastic silver uh, bead. Well, this is cute. So simple, but anything charmy and tiny, I love it. And this is kind of boho or I don't know, you name it. What would you describe this, ladies? Circle is so cute. I just love it. So simple. I would actually wear this. Fortunately, it's not sterling or gold or anything or it irritates my ears. I love this piece. I can wear it for just a short time. So, wow, like, what is this? It's like a plastic. This one feels like wood. Is it handmade? Very unique vintage piece. It's probably hand painted. Oh, that's cool. Oh, well, oh, that's cool. And you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, that's cool. Uh, they're all cool. Look, these beautiful shell um, earrings. That's cool. They're not broken. Those will be good for summer and spring. That'll be a good item. Not much of a profit, but... Oh, wow. Rylan, are you breaking stuff? Oh, these are so pretty. They're pearly. I think they're just plastic, you guys, but beautiful bangles set. I don't think they're that bone stuff. I really do think they're like a plastic. So don't get excited, but they're beautiful. Very cool. Oh, I'm a little overwhelmed. This is a lot of stuff. Okay, let's get this big piece out of the way. What is this? Which one? Okay. Oh, your switch. Rylan, your daddy bought that switch for you. You gotta stop saying it's daddy's because it's yours. <laughs> Silly kid. His daddy bought him a really expensive handheld game, and he never plays with it. I can't get this out. This actually might go together. Hold on. These cheap earrings 
gold toner stuck to it. So I'm going to have to look at this piece later, but first thing that comes to mind is some kind of bib or something. I don't know, um, but there's a lot going on here. Here's the charm. Let's see. Who is it? Okay. It's just a Vera Brat. Vera, not Vera Bradley, Vera Wang, I believe, is this logo right there. And I do believe they sell this at Kohl's. I don't know if that's Vera Wang. There's another brand that looks just like Vera Wang. I keep getting them confused. If I am, sorry. I'll have to look at that. I think that piece is broken. Okay. So these earrings are a match, but they're just really um, gold tone, and they are just not something I need. I'm going to pass these along. Ooh, but of course, I'm going to keep this cheap rubber bracelet because it's so cool. Silly girl. There's our matching wooden vintage earring. I have no idea, but I will auction this off on eBay. See if anyone likes it. It's wood, I believe. I have no idea. It's cool, though. It's cool. I don't need this um, earring either, even though these beads are really cool. But they're I could tell they're inexpensive. Super cute, though. I just don't need it. Pass it along to somebody else. A really inexpensive earring. Filigree. There's another word. If you didn't know it, it's filigree because it goes all the way through. <laughs> Holy. Uniquely me helped me that with that, too. This thing is so cheap. If I were to, like, just slightly bend it, it would probably break. I don't need it. I have several inexpensive um, silver toned charm bracelets. I think the charms alone, even if they're silver toned, I'm not going to judge them. I feel like someone else may love these and I don't know if they can paint them or clean them. Um, I'm going to put this aside and maybe lot up a bunch of bracelets like this because I have several. One day. When my kids are all grown up and moved out of the house, right? Is that an excuse that I'll ever not have death piles? I really don't think that's true because I'm pretty sure the women I talk to that their kids are grown out of the house. I don't know. Y'all tell me, do y'all have death piles or is it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's both moms and with kid, little kids and big kids. So it's just part of being a reseller. Both of these are inexpensive hoop earrings. They're going in the junk jewelry. I have no use for a ribbon, but let's look. Manufactured by A1 Awards. It's the trampoline tumbling. It's just a piece I don't need. I don't know. I probably could look up the comps on this. I feel like it wouldn't be worth my time, so I'm just going to take a risk and pass it along. 1970s style earrings. This one, the wood. That old, huh? Night. I'm all that old. Sorry I, if that came out wrong. Um, 1970s. That's a long time ago, though. I'm not even sure if that's wood. Seems like if they were wood, they would be more sanded. What is a rock? It's so lightweight, though. I see an earring with the words Chico's. Ooh, I have no idea what OM stands for. Is that like a peace thingy? Because it's got a flower thingy. Chico's. Kind of tarnished, faded, copper. We'll put it aside in case we find a match. Aww. I think Best Friend in Your Thread had, I, she either bought these black, same black ones, earrings for me. Here's the other one. I think she bought these for me. I charged her three bucks. These ones, you can tell the girl absolutely loved them because her makeup is all over it. The black ones that I had, I don't feel like she wore them as much as, as these. 
but these are a really nice kind of I think maybe in a I don't know if it's an enamel or glazed these are the cutest like retro pinup earrings and they're a good kind of metal they're not sterling or anything but yeah 1970s okay dang it that's true vintage right there so yeah these are cute um you did buy the black ones aren't they cute they're like so pinupy i love them i'm gonna send these to you after i wash them if you'll add me on instagram or something and send me your address because i don't know if i still have it i do need to make a little book of all my friends addresses <laughs> no names i'm gonna mention but yeah you get what i'm saying uh you did yeah so no i think dawn went to work dawn's out she said she had to go to work i was uh she was facebook messaging me earlier today and said she had to go to work so here's a cute little seed bead bracelet. I think it might be damaged. I'm gonna pass it along. <clears throat> Minnie Mouse. <laughs> oh wow. This is cute. I don't know if this is, someone told me mala necklaces needed to be um, like so many beads. And I can't remember how many. But this is a rosary, beautiful wooden cross rosary necklace, you guys. Um, could be like a meditation as well because it's natural wood beads. This thing is adorable. I will be listing this for sale. <laughs> hey, Jill. Um, it's okay. It's going, right? It is going. I have a messy house to clean. You know the kids were home for Thanksgiving, so I don't even try to clean when the kids are home. I prefer everyone out of the house when I'm cleaning. <laughs> everyone out. This is cute. It's a real wooden bead necklace. Um, it does have, it's a layer. Let me put this. This thing is cute. It's a layered one. It's got little glass. Are those glass? Ooh, they are glass. Um, faceted. What's the word, Tracy? We were talking about it last week, I think. The word for these tiny things. It will come to me here in just a minute. people love their rosaries right uh so it's a it's a layered necklace there's no maker and oh wait hold on oh it's lane bryant okay it said lane it's got a little tag lane so but that's lane bryant super cute um so here's a little girl's enamel i believe zebra is that zebra yeah Zebra S initial name. It's silver tone and kind of stained. I don't need it. We got some more dyed rocks, I guess you call that. All right. So we have two leather bracelets that were, somebody told me they loved this. Was it Valerie? Somebody said they love, no, wait, it's, um, yeah, it's Chick Picker, isn't it? Is it Chick Picker? I think Chick Picker said she liked this um, leather engraving stuff. She's obsessed with it. So this is real leather. Somebody got Chick Picker as their secret Santa, and that would be Cindy Ro Rosen. Rosen. Badger Farm Girl. Welcome. Hello. Uh, it has some kind of maker's flower, maybe, but I'm not familiar with it. Looks like these are just two separate bracelets. Oh, wait. These are not bracelets. These are like luggage tags or something. See? Or something like that. Yeah, they're real leather. Mm. Oh, well, maybe that one you could wear as a bracelet. I don't know what these are, so... 
it's nice that they kept them together. Whoever it was, they were proud of them because they definitely wanted a dollar fifty for them. So um, these I might keep for sure. Maybe I'll auction them off. So here already I see a sterling silver earring. This looks really nice. This is Avery, yay! Even one earring, you guys, branded by James Avery can pay for an entire bag. So for me to find James Avery, I'm like all giddy right now. I'm super happy. Um, it makes the bags worth it. Even if I'm missing an earring, I have literally sold one earring before, so. This luckily does have the 925 James Avery back to it. It's very dirty. It needs to be cleaned. Yes. Woohoo. Um, so this is a score. Let's see. I saw. Look, here's another earring that's sterling silver. It is so dirty and stained. You guys, it's so dirty that I'm going to have to clean it. I see some stampings. It's clearly going to say sterling silver. And I can read the word, the C for copyright. Um, Dawn, oh, she's there. <laughs> While I walk over to work from parking lot. This is an awesome seashell. I don't know about you guys, but I'm obsessed with the ocean, the water. I was born in Maryland. I used to play on the Chesapeake Bay as a child. I used to run barefoot along the Chesapeake Bay. I even got a huge fishbone stuck in my foot, hanging and dangling, broke off while my mom was out grocery shopping. She came home and I'm screaming crying that I have a fish bone stuck in my foot. And you know how she tricked me and I've done it to my own kids because my own mom, I'll never forget the day this happened. She came home with some candy and it was that candy where it was the wax and you squeeze it I think and it had the juice inside of it. Um, and so I'm keeping that up sterling. Anyways, she distracted me with candy and as soon as she got the candy, um, <laughs> she ripped that fish bone out of my foot like that. You guys, it was hilarious because she made everything better. She did it so fast and it was me that was making it worse so yeah but i was home alone with like my sister or brother and um yeah i wouldn't let anybody touch it so my mom ripped that fishbone right out <clears throat> uh nancy confirms death piles absolutely just the two of us meaning i assume her her and her husband um, so she's saying the kids are not at home and she does have death piles. So thanks, <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> this is a cheaper cube. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with iridescent and clear stuff. I love it. I had a necklace recently that I quit wearing it, but I love this piece. I don't know if I have the other one. Unfortunately, it's not sterling silver, so I can't wear it. My ears are super sensitive. I just I don't paint them or anything with fingernail polish. Someone did tell me you can buy a sensitive treatment. I've never bought it. Forgot all about it. Here's a seed bead bracelet. Really good quality. Okay, quit telling stories, Heather, and let's get this bag over with. Oh my gosh, we're almost done, maybe. <laughs> So there's that matching earring. I'm just going to pass it along though. I don't need it. Okay, so this is nice. Maybe. Look, it's got like a tiny gemstone rock in the middle. So cute. It's not even broke. It's just a tiny... Look. I wonder if this was handmade. It's kind of chunky. The beads are kind of plasticky though. I don't know. We'll, we'll lock this up. We'll see. I'll look at it later. Oh, my back is starting to hurt from bending over. You had a pair of cube earrings just like that when I was a teen. 
Oh, well, maybe it's just the little girl in me wanting them, I guess. I don't know. So here's an earring. This one looks sterling silver, but it is a Mexico stamped one. They tend to sit longer, but that's cool. I noticed it was kind of a silver. God, my little dog, Chloe, is going crazy. Bud, no. Come here. Crazy on the neighbor. Um, Sorry. So silver. It is stamped all over. Thank you for the Mexico um, stamped sterling silver for stamping their stuff. Really helps people. I don't think that back is sterling, though. Okay, so there's that piece. Bud, come here. Come here, we're almost done. Mama's almost done. And I'll let you outside, but not to antagonize the neighbor. So these are like really dirty, you guys, and it's missing some um, plastic stones. It's gonna be junk jewelry. Here is a bracelet. I still like these rubber bracelets for some reason they're kind of like alternative rockish to me i don't know why maybe not even alternative i mean you could just do so much with this bracelet any kind of charm or beads can probably be added to this so i'm gonna put this aside i have several bracelets like that look here's another sterling earring at least it looks sterling it is the tiniest little starfish. So cute. Michelle, you have sensitive ears too. Um, we are going to tackle our death pile. We have about 20 coats we need to list. I have a lot of vintage jewelry from my mother you, I need to list. Do I have a chew bone you could give the puppy that will keep him busy? He is good. He wants to go in the backyard. She, my female dog, she just, she won't even come inside. She wants to antagonize the neighbor. Um, here's that matching cool little piece. I did give um, him a bone yesterday, so I don't know what he did with it. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Look at that. It's um, bracelets. They're very oversized. You can see the copper coming through on some of the silver and the uh, mint or the blue turquoise is rubbed off. It's cute, but I am gonna pass this along just because of all the damage. <clears throat> uh, do I have two, two bone? We got like bones all over the place. These dogs, they're spoiled. They're very loved. Um, here's a silver toned earring. It's missing some beads. I'm going to chunk this one. A uh, gold tone earring. Possible tiny sterling silver earring, but possibly not. Yeah, I can see it's stamped. I'm going to go ahead and pass on this one. Uh, just because, one, I have the hardest time even putting these earrings on, and I just don't think it's worth it. A lot anyways. I'm just going to chunk it, you guys. Uh, another, but don't go. Just stay with me. He's trying to go to the back door. <sighs> the silver one? Yeah. I think there's two little ones in here. Or maybe you're talking about another one. Guys, I never have my chat on live. Let me see if it, top chat, live chat. I never have it on live chat. I did just now. But the chat stays the same. It's typically only changes. Um, whenever there's like spam stuff, I thought. So I just put it on live chat. But I do forget to put it on live chat. Totally forget. But I always see the comments. So I don't know. I'm starting to learn about that live chat versus top chat. I learned that, it, uh, especially if you're a moderator like Uniquely Me or Diva Treasures as a moderator, there's a little button here on the chat that you can click top chat or live chat. And 
apparently top chat if you don't take it off a of top chat you could miss some messages especially if they're trolls it blocks and hides those so immediately this I can see is a 925 sterling silver backed stamped earring but then we have this adorable chandelier earring kinda I don't know it's just cute I wonder if we have the match to this regardless um, it's, I don't know if it's, I might list it by itself. I don't know. I'll put that with the sterling over there. So look at the most adorable pin I have probably almost ever seen. <laughs> Too bad it's showing signs that it's kind of cheaper. Yeah, and it's gold tone for sure, but... I don't know this flower, but there's a little pearl. I don't know that flower. My mom would know it, but it's a flower with a pearl in the middle, and it's this tiny little brooch pin. I love it. There's no maker's mark or anything, but yes, so tiny. Um... TM Summit Entertainment. Does anybody know what this is? Edward? It's like that movie. Mm, Edward. That's weird. TM and Summit Entertainment. Edward. It's a little black plastic beaded. Another rubber bracelet that I love. Love, love, love. Okay, um, best friend in your thread says that is correct about the live chat. I wasn't aware. Uh, I never knew what it meant because every time I would click it, nothing ever changed. I never saw any troll messages. They still pop up under my channel, under top chat. Um, but apparently if it's really foul language, YouTube will flag it and you will only see it under live chat. I guess it protects the maybe children or it protects from like really crude stuff that is inappropriate. Um, so that's kind of nice it, in a way. But again, it could filter the wrong messages. So I apologize if I ever did miss anybody's comments. When my husband and I go sourcing, he will ask me if I would like to get a bag and or jars of jewelry, but I never do. Live chat will show the messages in chronological order, whereas top chat does not. So you can easily miss trolling comments. Okay, good to know. I think, oh, look, here's my cute little boho earring that I love. There's that match, the mate. Thanks for clarifying that best friend in your thread. <clears throat> Here's just an inexpensive, like a copper earring. Again, I have too many earrings. I'm just going to pass this along. It's kind of tangled, I think. Yeah, it's going to have to be bent. Okay, so here's a ring. A ring. It's kind of pretty. You can't see the tarnishing up here, but if you show under, that's why they donated it, because it got too tarnished. But it's kind of cute. I have a couple rings, not very many. Rings are rare, so I will just lock those up. I have a couple. I totally just missed the mailman, you guys, for you guys. Um, I had a couple more packages I needed to ship, but I love my YouTube. <laughs> I might could no, the post office closes at 12 on Saturdays anyways. I shipped my eBay, which is the ones that track your shipping the hardest, so I'm good. I just have, man, I had a lot of Poshmark to ship today, though. I went in, and I reduced a ton of stuff. I reduced so many things last night, it made me pass out. I got so tired of staring at the screen, and the heating pad just put my butt flat out to sleep. I probably was asleep before 10 p.m. last night. Yeah, true story. So this is a vintage earring. It's just gold tone. 
but since it's vintage, I'll put it aside. So this sucker is heavy, so that tells me it's good quality. Um, let's see. The pearls are scratched up pretty bad. I see a missing diamond. Unfortunately, due to the diamond missing, I'm going to pass this along, and the pearls are just damnly, damnly damaged and scratched up so bad. Um, but this thing is heavy. Good quality. I um, feel like I've seen this earring before. It's super lightweight and plasticky. Going to chunk it. I see a sterling earring, and I wonder if I already have this earring from the last bag that we did. I actually think I might. So there's the sterling silver earring. I'm pretty sure we got this in last Saturday's bag. It is stamped 925 and a maker's mark of OW. I do not know who O.W. is for the life of me. I did not research it from last week, so that'll be research. Okay, here's the match to that cheap little earring. Filigree! 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 Yeah, I know. I'm silly. So, what is this? A bagpipe guy? What else am I supposed to put on this? I think it's just stainless steel. However, let's see. Come on, please be. Nope, that's gold. Where's the silver cloth? I don't see it, so we'll just pass. I'm going to have to test, oh, test this. I'm seeing if it has engravings. There's like little scratches on the um, jump hook, I believe is what I learned, that these little circles are cold. The jump hook? I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> so uh, this is either stainless steel or sterling silver. No clue. I don't think it's sterling, but it's a very rare looking bagpipe guy. Does that mean he's Russian? I have no clue. Well, well I could probably put like what? That word, kilt? isn't it kilt? The skirt he's wearing? Let me know, guys, if y'all have any other details about this little guy, because I am clueless. Uh, he looks like, again, he's holding a bagpipe. Almost looks like he's Irish to me. I don't know. No clue. <clears throat> oh, you're so sweet. Uh, best friend in your thread says, I love watching Heather open these jewelry bags because it's like watching her hunt <laughs> for treasure. <laughs> yes. Yes, girl. I know. That's why I'm like, why do I, I woke, I was there 40 minutes before they opened. And I'm like, oh my gosh, will I ever get over this phase of these jewelry bags? Cause I got jewelry everywhere. Um, let's see what else. Um, <laughs> That's for sure by watching Heather next time I do go out. I'm going to pick one up. <laughs> I, I wish you the best of luck, Michelle. Some people do not get good bags, and then some people do. I, I don't know. It depends on how your store is and if they're listing it online. Or is the manager stealing them? Is the manager honest? I mean, look at these tiny pieces. I mean... I got my first Tiffany piece, okay? Luckily, it was big. However, had it been a tiny Tiffany piece, I mean, you'd got to really trust those managers at the Goodwills or wherever. If you're not finding pieces like this, something is wrong, okay? You should be finding pieces because look at what I'm getting. I, I'm And my jewelry, my store claims that they have more jewelry than they can go through sometimes. And I do not live in a big city. I, I live in a medium slash in-between city. Our city is growing very fast, um, but we're still not considered like Dallas or a big, big, big city. So whatever. Unique pieces like that, even if it's not marked, I still put it in my gold treasure pile. Treasure, yes. 
So this is sterling silver, but it's like a bent up ring. Um, almost looks like a stainless steel. I don't know about this. Weird. Is it a mid mid ring? Midi ring? I forget to wear midi rings. I feel like they're gonna fall off. I feel like I'm so like bloop. Scottish. Okay. Um, Michelle says, Heather, I have a lot of my mother's chunky jewelry from the 70s and 80s. <laughs> Does that sell very well? Oh my gosh, Michelle. Add me on Instagram and send me some pictures. I'll definitely tell you my opinion. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with my Instagram channel, it's located in this video. Click the drop down menu. Best friend in your thread. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Totally invite me on Instagram, send me your address, and I will clean these earrings up to you, for you and just send them for free. It just, literally. Um, I'll show you all my reselling Instagram account. <clears throat> Texas reseller there. So Texas reseller, one word, I believe. Yeah, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, just a little something for you, lady. You're so sweet. Okay. Turquoise pink dyed. Um, here's a green, more inexpensive. Beautiful colors. I love it. There's no markings. I'm going to pass it along. A cheaper, inexpensive earring. I don't see the match to this that I have on my table. So I'm just going to dunk it. So this looks like sterling silver. And you tell me what you think this looks like because I am being very naughty. Um, but this looks like a sterling silver earring. <laughs> this piece cracks me up. Um, you're most welcome, dear. You sure don't have to do that, but I will definitely add you. Yeah, do it. Because I don't know how to message on YouTube privately. <clears throat> so, yeah. It might be stainless steel. I don't see any markings, but I'd have to test this for silver. kind of looks real silver. Yay, we found our uh, silver... <laughs> 925 mate to our Mexico stamped um, earring. It has those stampings. I need to learn what that means. Like it was their inventory. Was it a style number? Because this is stamped like my other Mexico jewelry. It is stamped 925 Mexico. Then it has the words like T C dash. I don't know if that's T59 or 159. It always has some stampings of like some numbers. <laughs> Uniquely me. I just listed a fertility statue with a very large member. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, put the back back on, Heather. <clears throat> Okay, moving along. There's our laugh for the day. <laughs> um, so here's a cute little uh, flower earring. It's so cute, you guys. There's no, there's no markings, and it's just an uh, inexpensive earring. I'm going to pass it along. I don't see the match, but I'm going to just pass it along. Oh, look, there's a lot of these little silver earrings. I've had these before. I, I know that they don't cost a lot, but they are, I don't know if they're silver or not. I'm just going to pass them along. I'm going to uh, give this to the craft junk bag here. It's a tiny charm cross, possibly missing the stone in the middle. And now you got to get that thing out of here. You don't need more kids. I am fixed, girl. I ain't having no more kids. I'm done. Here's a gold tone earring. The gold is rubbing off. I think I have the match to this in the other jewelry bag. 
that I did last week, but I don't need that. Okay, I'm seeing some really cool pieces in here. Let's get some of this out of the way. Gold tone earring. We have the match in there. We got some chakra beads all over the place. A chakra bracelet must have broke. Because here's a green tiger's eye. I'm going to chunk this quartzy looking one. Uh, here's a silver tone earring. A silver tone earring drop flower. <clears throat> okay, so this. Ooh, yeah. I'm all, yeah, like I know. I don't know nothing about this. It just says Avon. <laughs> it's a vintage Avon stamped earring. Super cute. Luckily, I do have the match. It's got a gemstone or whatever you want to call it in there. Uh, let me show you. Okay, so cool. It's even got the original Avon backings, so that's even better. They'll sell better with the stamped Avon backings. That's a plus. Don't know the worth, but it's worth it. So this right here is exciting to me. I don't know the value of this, but I'm, I'm like so happy. Um, I will state that I'm not a tiger's eye lover. I don't find the stone pretty at all, but I know that it has its beautiful, you know, qualities. Um, it, to me, it's more of a masculine stone. I don't know. Um, however, these are like super vintage looking. They are, sorry, they are um, very, very, very tarnished and whatnot. Let's check it out for an engraving. I think I saw something. Let me look. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's Avon again. Huh. Interesting. And then we have what looks like a matching necklace to this. Even better. So when I list these on eBay, I need to get a Ziploc baggie. I forgot to bring that to my uh, stream, but I'm super excited. Like, I'm all excited. Check it out. Is it broke? I think I can repair it. Yeah, I can probably repair this. Is it broke? Let me see. Yeah, it's... Well, I don't know. I think it is. Let me just show you. Um, hallelujah. Avon made a quality piece. None of the gemstones are missing. Give it up for Avon. Yay. Look at that tiger's eye. Very cool. Probably is going to be genuine tigers. I um, they've they're glass, so that's cool. I'm happy about that. It may not be worth anything, you guys. So don't quote me on that. Um, do your research as always. Um, Avon does not sell for that much, but you never know. Some pieces can be. Damn, that was stuck. I have a feeling that this is real silver, but then there's signs that it's not. So I'm going to put it in my silver pile to be tested. I hate when I do that. <laughs> sorry. Because it's right by the speaker. I'm so sorry if that hurts y'all's ears um, when I drop the jewelry on the computer. Uh, Uniquely Me says, Tiger's eye is good for anxiety, focus, and fear. I'm all, rub it all over up on me. Right? You can put it on your chakras. Don't they say your chakras, like what? Right in the middle of your, like, forehead or in between up above your nose. Your heart is a chakra on top of your head. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. Uh, this is really damaged. Um, oh, wait. It's kind of nice, but... I'm all, wait, hold on. I hate to pass this piece up, but it is faded pretty bad, but it is a good quality, uh, but I'm going to pass on it. It's a springy bracelet. I'm going to pass on that one. Oh, I'm so happy. Look, I found another button. This is from last week. 
I have one of these. It is a very sexy cowgirl. She is exposing her cleavage and her legs, kind of like a pinup girl. This is super vintagey. It's possibly just a button. So now I have two. That makes me happy. Happy. The littlest things, right? Okay, so this, I keep passing this pearl drop necklace. Let's see. So someone had mentioned, um, gonna go, have a good day. Yes, ma'am, have a wonderful day. Good luck out there thrifting. Um, what's I gonna say? Oh yeah, a lady said that she was gonna possibly buy a jewelry bag, clearly in the comments. Again, one highly recommended thing is when you get necklaces that are tangled, unhook them at the clasps and they'll untangle better. So I think we might have a sterling one here or not. Let me look. Actually, these are all not sterling. So we'll just detangle these after the video. Really good quality stainless steel chain right here. And it's all tangled up in this wood, long, plastic bead necklace. So we'll do that later. We won't hold up the string. Okay, so here is a earring. I, I feel like it's sterling, but then parts tell me it's not. I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to pass on this one. Kind of cute. <clears throat> okay, what the heck is up with these little cube rhinestone things that I'm obsessing about? Every time, they always look sterling silver or they're a really good stainless steel. And again, once again, none of the stones are missing. I am digging this piece so much because it's a freaking choker. Oh, wow. Love it! Might have to clean it a little because it's a little dirty. <laughs> Bye, Diva. <laughs> I was like, who's Diva? That's Casey. Okay, I like this ring. It's kind of cool. Forget to wear them. All right. Sometimes the last of the bag is the best piece. And what is this? It said, uh, looks like a sperm and then it looks like a snake and then it's, what is it? Hey, Looney Circus. How are you today? Thank you for the super chat. It keeps popping in my head. One day I was on a YouTube video and you had done a super chat. But we were like, know, like really hot on a topic at the moment. And it keeps crossing my mind how I didn't ever thank you on that silly super chat. So I want to backtrack to that video if you remember the one. I'm sure you don't care because clearly you're still here and you're still super chatting me. So I do want to say sorry, but um, I keep thinking it over and over. Like, I forgot to tell him thank you. Y'all go sub Looney Circus's channel. He does have videos, and they are fun. If you like Ren and Stimpy, it always excites me when I see Ren and Stimpy on his channel. <laughs> Here's the match to our chandelier earring. I love this. I love the blue. It's so cute. And we have the match to this, so that's a blessing. Where is it? It's over here in the silver pile. You guys won't believe the little goodie pile I have over here. I'll always show it at the end of the video, the best scores that I think I found. So stay tuned. It's coming up really soon. Silver toned earring. Okay, this is a really nice bracelet, but unfortunately the rope needs to be redone. I'm going to pass this on to someone who would redo it. That's not me. <clears throat> okay, this is adorable. Okay, it's kind of broke, I think. 
it is a keychain apple but it's missing the other maybe it was like a watch at one point so it's a very heavy stainless steel piece so that's gonna go in the junk jewelry oh look oh my gosh it's so cute oh look at that it's an anchor it's the tiniest little pin ever like how do you even open that thing do you have to be a midget and have midget barbie hands <laughs> Like, look at the tiny thing. I love tiny pieces. You should see my smile right now, but unfortunately I'm hiding it from y'all. <laughs> or maybe you saw it, I don't know. <laughs> There's no markings. A chapstick, I totally need to buy some new chapstick this weekend. All right, we got a Six Flags over Texas. This is a vintage pin enamel with the circus horse or the merry-go-round circus looking things. Looney Circus says, Heather is awesome. Did everyone remember to like the stream, the live stream? Yes, go please give me a thumbs up. Awesome. Um, oh yeah. Small Business Saturday, thanks for the reminder. I need to hit up small local shops today. Best friend in your thread, heck yeah, makes for a fun day. I picked up a bunch of homemade soups today. Soaps today. My wife will love them. Oh, how sweet. Hey, Rosie. Hello. How are you? Oh, circus stuff. <laughs> yeah. This adorable pin. Oh, there's that matching earring. It's it's really pretty. It kind of gives off that sterling silver vibe, but the match is in my junk jewelry. Um, here's a filigree filigree earring. It's got little rhinestones in it. Um, I do have the match to this one. None of the rhinestones are missing. Who was it? Um, I'm gonna have to go back to my last week's stream, but oh. Me, Billy, but I have these other earrings. I can't remember who it was. Um, I think they added me on Instagram, but they didn't send me their address so that I could mail these earrings to them. But they kind of go along with this little lot here, don't they? So, um, I'm gonna have to go back and see who it was that wanted those cross earrings. Mm, can't remember. It'll be in the stream, so I'm, I'm waiting for her to send me her address. So it's kind of hard to tell if the lady that added me was the same person, because Instagram, they have usernames, so I wasn't entirely sure. Um, so here is a, it looks like stainless steel, but then it looks sterling silver. Adorable uh, charm. We'll have to test it for silver. Oh, look, uniquely me. Here's our oddly shaped earring. <laughs> you guys, I really think that this is sterling silver. It's giving those vibes off. Jug Trader was just thinking about them. Yay, there you are. <laughs> if you added me on Instagram, will you please message me? Because I really wasn't sure if the lady or the female that I think it was added me. I didn't know. Um, cause junk trader and in your Instagram wasn't the same. Okay. Okay. Message me, send me your address. So inexpensive to send those, but yeah, I don't know. This is like the funkiest earring ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're cracking me up. Like I'm so dirty. <laughs> okay. Here's a little cute charm. Okay, we got some more turquoise beads. Uh, we have a vintage earring. No maker's mark. It seems like it's from the dollar store. I'm going to chunk that one. Okay, darn it. I hate when I come across these bracelets. 
it's almost like a tennis bracelet. It doesn't look gold, but it's vintage. And I have I'm a sucker for as my pick on there. Uh, I have a big smiley. Yeah, the smiley face didn't match, and the names and the picture. And I just yeah, I'm not a big Instagram person, but I, I'm I'm venturing. I'm slowly getting over there. So um yeah. So it's an adorable heart and none of the stones are missing. I don't know who the maker is, but again, I'm a sucker for vintage pieces. <clears throat> a gold tone earring. Here's another gold tone earring that I've already thrown the mate in the bags. Here's another earring that we just chunked in there. It's just really super thin and inexpensive. Someone else can have it. You're cleaning shoes. Oh, no. All right, here comes my favorite part, you guys. It's the little pieces. It's where I find usually the sterling silver and gold. Almost there. I gotta get this piece out of the way. These pieces drive me crazy because I feel like they're just like little $10 pieces from either Walmart, Lane Bryant, uh, just, you know, Claire's, again, Walmart, Target. But they're nice, cute little office pieces. So they're really cute. I have a couple. I'm gonna lock them up and sell them. They're just dreadful. You would have to sell like five of those to make a profit. So immediately, this is telling me a red flag. It's sterling silver. I already know it's sterling silver by looking at it. But Chloe is just driving the neighbor crazy. She won't stop barking. She's so ornery. They did not stamp this piece, but I'm about 99% sure that it's sterling. Uh, I'm listing the shoes you cleaned last night, Junk Trader, says Uniquely Me. Uh, it's got the cool little Navajo, um, possibly like an Aztec style. So cute. Let me see if this is foam is going to show up it better. Adorable etchings. Such the tiniest little thing, too. I love it. Because I'm not one of those big, gaudy, chunky pieces. It depends. It depends on what it is. But, yeah. This is a score right here. Um, I, I love it. A little bit. I'm not keeping it. It's for sale, though. I'm going to pass this piece along. It looks like a vintage kind of ring, maybe? I don't know, with the letter S. I don't know what that is. Got some charms. <laughs> um, this is the cutest vintage earring, and it's, yeah, it's stamped. Sure is. It's got stamps all over it. Very cool. Oh, look, the match. Yay, Fluffy. My mother-in-law says that. Stepmother-in-law. Um, cute. Can't tell if these are 925. Eh. You're taking care of a sick doggy today. The new, fur new furniture, new flooring. We're in the nasty basement together, darn dogs. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> That does sound rough. Oh my gosh, my little doggy, she will not stop. All right, we got Mum, Taiwan. It's 925, even though it's gold colored. Uh, does it say Taiwan or American? I don't know. Probably Taiwan. And then mom or mom. Does that really say mom on there, you guys? <laughs> You're like, I don't know. Hold on. Let me look at the other one. Oh, the other one isn't stamped like the other one. But yes, it is. 
Oh, that does not say Taiwan. That says something else. Like Dan at the end? D-A-N. Wait, does it say mom? Wow, that says mom. Morgan mom? Or Jorgen mom? What? Jordan mom? <laughs> oh no, moving along now. <laughs> okay. I don't like when I spend too much time on one piece because last time I did a video, the freaking jewelry video was like two hours long. Who does that? Me. I don't know this brand. Here's the logo if anybody knows it. Never seen it. It's a kind of an inexpensive logo brand because, um, well, it might be vintage though. It's kind of look vintagey. This charm. Oh, cool. Interesting. Chunky statement charm necklace. I guess. Pretty cool. Yeah, Hugo got into something. I think it was the bathroom. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, look, here's the match to that cute little drop earring, but it was broke, clearly. This thing is adorable. Too bad it's not real. Little bead. Almost done. We got that earring that I think might be sterling, but possibly not. I'll test it. You know how many backs of earrings I've held up to you guys? My fingers have got to be, like, so gross right now. Okay, so the heart earring I referred to earlier that um, I think is in the other, yeah, jewelry bag. Here it is. But look what I just found. The matching James Avery heart earring, you guys. <laughs> I wish people would do this on their earrings. Stick it in and then stick the back on it so that these will stay together. These bad boys right here are going to make me all my money back. This is the score of the day. Um, but again, I'll show you what other pieces I do have. We have more sterling, but anything stamped James Avery is a freaking score. Yay! Okay, that sounded like my mother-in-law, too. She does that a lot. Yay! Okay, that's just a ball. Doesn't even have a hole. That's a cool ball. We got a... Faceted, faceted, really pretty stone. Does that go here? Keep that. Yeah, that goes to this turquoise necklace. So we'll keep that. Oh, wow. These are cute. These are vintage chandelier earrings. They look like they're like copper, but I love them. Seeded bead, seed bead, I learned to call them. These are adorable. All right, so we're almost done. Let's see here. Let me try to get all of it. So that's a backing to one of those watches, maybe. Let's put all of this in my hands so we'll stop digging in the back. Oh, man, look at that score. Look, it's two sterling silver snowflakes. Yay! Fluffy! Oh no, it's 9 to 5 and it's got the soccer ball emblem again. Stamped. Oh, Avery. Yay, these are awesome. So if these are James Avery, then I think all the other little tiny ones might be James Avery. What was it? The seashell? We had a starfish possibly I wonder if these came together so look there's my tiny little flower and it's not missing a stone I will throw some little rubber backings on these these are so cute <clears throat> I told y'all the end of the bag is always the best like I'm all excited here's a little earring 
Okay, come on, Heather. We can do this. They're so many little pieces. Okay. All right, we are done here. There's just a little tiny bead and everything in there. Okay, so the little beads here and an earring back. I don't need those. I did find the Chico's earring that says OM. This thing is like really faded. It's probably going to go right in the junk jewelry. I think I will go ahead and pass on those because they're so bad. Here's a little inexpensive, cheap dangle earring. I think the match is in there. Here's a kids are worth it. Like, is that a church or school? It's an enamel vintage pin, brooch pin. Oh, my dog. Uh, that looks like, is that jade maybe? Then we got the green tiger's eye. Get some work done while the pup is sleeping. Sounds like I'm taking care of a kid. <laughs> I know the feeling. All right, so have a good day, Looney. Thank you for the super chat, man. A funky earring here. I do have the match. Looks like it's enamel glitter filled. Have a great day, buddy. So here's our match to our earring. We're almost done here, you guys. The vintage little earring. Perfect timing, too, because I'm hungry. Some more little beads. Those are kind of nice. They do show copper through them, but they're nice, heavy little beads. They're not plastic, so those are nice. Oops. We have another tiny little pin. It's got the initials FTA. I don't know what that is. Here's another charm dangle earring. The other matches in the junk jewelry bag. We have like a St. Michael charm. Whoop. Protect me. Um, it's made in Italy. I guess I might look this up. So we'll set it aside. Um, and I said protect me. And since it says me, I just right away, I want to say protect the people in the chat as well. Okay, so we have a adorable peace sign charm. It's a dangle little charm. Junk jewelry, junk jewelry earring. We got another tiger's eye gemstone rock. And some more um, dyed turquoise. The rest of all this is junk jewelry, but I have one final piece that I think might be sterling silver. Okay, so this is all the junk jewelry that we are not going to keep at all. $63 sold comp for James Avery Hearts on eBay. Yay! <laughs> Tell me, so why did I go to Goodwill 40 minutes early before they open to get in line? That's what you got to do, ladies. At least call your Goodwill if they have them. Some of them don't have good ones at all, but um, call them and ask them. When I was there, I asked the employees, when do you bring out your bags? And they straight up told me. So last piece, I'm not seeing an Avery logo, but I see another kind of logo. And I'm going to have to confirm almost 99% sure that it's possibly sterling silver. It's a like a teacher's charm, ABC with an apple. It's like 3D kind of. It is not bent. It's made that way to look like blocks. And on the back, it has like a sun looking thing with the engravings of what I see with no zooming in is possibly a J and a an R. You're awesome, Uniquely Me. Thank you. So there's the maker's mark on the back of this little sterling silver charm. So that's a score. 
Um, and that is a wrap, but I will show you real quickly all the best pieces that we found today. First one is this one. This ring seems like it is a sterling silver ring. I'll take these bangles off. I have no idea what these are made out of, but they're super cool. They're like a multicolor pearl in it. These are awesome. Um, but that I wasn't supposed to really show you. I'm really looking just for the sterling silver pieces. <clears throat> okay, so these were stamped sterling, but they're real cheap. They almost feel plastic, so they're probably like a silver 925 overlay, maybe. Like they're not solid. Does that make sense? I didn't really understand all that till I <coughs> kept doing bags. Um, these are not sterling silver, but it's vintage Avon, a matching necklace and earring set. They are stamped. They're Tiger's Eye Avon pieces. These are stamped 925 um, earrings, even though they're gold tone. And I think they say mom on them. I don't know. Um, all right. So then we have this oversized large stamped Seta or Seta 925 ear ring. It's missing the gemstone in the middle. This possibly might be a silver overlay as well. But the fact that it has a maker's mark is cool. I'll have to reach research it. It's spelled S E T A Sita Seta. Oh, one word. Sita Seta. So we have that. This is copper, so I don't know why it's in here. I have no idea what it is, and I may not ever find out what this is. It looks like an Indian or Asian man. It looks like a man to me. Um, let's see. These I will need to test if they're sterling. They look like it to me on some parts. I don't know why this is in here, but blah, blah, blah. Where's the other ones on the other side? But those are those cute little earrings. They look stainless steel or sterling silver. I would have to test that. Here it is. These are what the heck is this? Like it's almost glass. Yeah. They're like little balls or I don't know what like almost like chili peppers, but they're not, right? So weird. Can anybody help with this? Cause like clueless, no clue what to call that. Some kind of drop. <laughs> Some kind of yeah. Like a blown glass? No clue. No clue. Um, we only had one rhinestone earring. It is stamped 925. I'm like already discouraged that I'll never find like a real diamond. We'll go ahead and test this one. It only takes a second. Oh. That was because I touched the silver, sorry. No, you don't. No, it can't be testing positive. Is it coral? Maybe. No, I don't think it's coral. But I'm not a professional coral expert. Usually coral has white in it, and this has absolutely nothing but red. And it doesn't feel like the same texture as coral. So the lamp on battery is okay and the lamp on ready okay. Wow, it's testing positive. Maybe it's a cubic zirconium or something? But I need to get this diamond tested. It's, yeah, interesting. It's only giving me one red uh, thing. I'll show you the difference between one that's not like this. This one's, oh, darn, I hate when I do that. This one I know is not a real stone, so we're gonna touch it. 
and it should be just silent. Okay, so clearly I got something wrong on my settings because it's not. Why is it doing it today? I'm not even touching anything and it's blinking. <laughs> what the heck is this? I don't even know what this is for, you guys. Okay, so my wedding ring goes all the way up. And this one's only hitting it one time. So yeah, maybe just a cubic zirconium, zirconium, whatever. I don't know how to say it. So now these stones aren't hitting the red. Isn't that funny? It did it a second ago. So is my batteries glitching on this thing or what? So yeah, again, it's hitting the red one time. And my wedding ring goes all the way up, so... And then again on the cheap one, for some reason it's not hitting it at all. So, cool. Don't doubt yourself, Heather. All right. Yeah, that's only hitting because it's too close to the silver. Yeah, just like I thought. Okay. Sorry. A little testing there. These. Diamond testers are less than 10 bucks or 15, I think, on eBay. So if you do get jewelry bags, I would highly recommend getting one of those. I have no idea what this thing is for. Okay, so that, we got this. I think it's just a silver tone, but it's a vintage um, bracelet, but it's got the gemstone rock on it. Not sure which one. So we found a seashell that is marked with engravings. We did not find the match. But we did, again, find these James Avery matching uh, heart wrap rope, if you want to call it, earrings. I found a sterling silver earring match, or no match there, but I think I have the match in my old bag. We have matching snowflake earrings that are sterling silver. I believe, yeah, these are James Avery, I think. Yeah, I think that's what I said earlier. And then we have these tiny earrings that have no markings, but I'm almost positive that they are sterling silver. Button earrings, I guess. Then we have our Mexico sterling earrings. They're very tarnished and they're matches. They have like a, not gold, but a brassy rope outline. Those are cool. We have one earring that has stamped 925 up here. I don't know about down here. Have to test it. We have our naughty earrings here that is missing a back but i'm almost certain these are sterling funky earrings i mean what would you call that you guys just hoop earrings chunky hoop earrings um we have our scottish man with the bagpipe charm he's not stamped but He's still old and cool. Old and cool. <laughs> Why do I have this earring? I'm going to chunk this earring because I don't have the match. Again, it looks like a tiny little sperm or a snake. So weird. Where's my junk jewelry bag? Here it is. <clears throat> but we did also find... Did I have... I have the match to this starfish maybe not maybe not I don't see it I wonder if I have these in last week's bag or anything like that this is so so much fun <laughs> kind of like it's so much fun and then it's not so then we have these chandelier earrings that 
thought these were stamped somewhere. Not sure if these are stamped, but they're they're vintage looking. They're really good quality. Um, last pieces, we had another vintage button girl. I don't think it's sterling though. I don't know why this is in this pile. Possible sterling star here. Possible just uh, alum, um, alum or stainless steel maybe. I have to test it. Last piece that I know for a fact is sterling silver is this bracelet bangle. Cutest tiny little piece uh, ever. I don't know what that word is. Phallic? Phallic? I don't even know what that is. I'm going to have to Google the word. But thanks. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That's all we got. You guys have no idea how happy I am that this video is over. <laughs> it's a very long video sitting here. And I am super hungry now from all the talking I've done. Makes you hungry. Takes a lot of your energy to talk that much. Oh, really, Heather? You mean that doesn't come natural? Yes, it does. All right. Felix, let me look up that word. I hope you don't make me crack up laughing. Felix. <laughs> that would be a more professional word, right? Do you think anybody would type that word? I didn't even know what it word was. I'm surely that I couldn't put the actual word on eBay, right? Or could I put genital? <laughs> I love it. Of or denotating the genital phase of psychosexual development. What is psychosexual? What the? I don't even know what that word means. Psychosexual. I love learning new words. Thank you so much, Uniquely Me. Thank you for everyone hanging out today. Um, I hope you guys have a blessed day. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the box below the video. Hope you all have a blessed day. Happy holidays. And um, that's it. Have a very relaxing weekend. We will talk to you soon. And I'll just tap you real quick. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If YouTube on the laptop would put better emojis, I would totally put a heart, but they have crappy ones. So, bye-bye. <laughs> See you later.